Okay, the last thing in this uh, if statements um, unit here is this practice assignment, a button designer. I thought this was kind of a fun one. It, it uses the brightness that we uh, calculator that we used earlier before, earlier on. Um, kind of a kind of a neat application of it. So, got the description here. Basically, I give you some start code um, to get you going. And what you want to do here is well, let me show the the project first. You're going to select a background color. So this is an input element with type color and you can adjust things and select a color and then you're gonna you can set the text here so i'm just gonna go click me and then when you hit preview it will change the the background of this button the background color to match this background color it'll change the text to max match the given text and what i want you to notice is that the the font color or the text color turned white whereas if i chose a light background color the text color is dark. So it's kind of a smart button. It'll, it'll take the brightness of the background color and based on the brightness, it'll determine whether the, the text should be black or white. Okay. And of course you can change the, the text here. So it says something different. All right. So that's what it does here, right? Basically complete the start code so that the button text will match the provided button text, right? Match. Um, the button background color will match the selected background color right and then uh, the text color of the button will be black if the selected background color brightness is greater than 180 remember the brightness was between 0 and 255 so if it is greater than 180 that's going to be bright and we'll make that um, a black text right and if it's darker than 180 right 180 or less we want to make it white and uh, here's a reminder of how to do brightness. Here's some little hints on how to set the text. Remember the inner HTML, how to set the background color and the text color to different things. Okay, and then the start code. Um, because this input element is kind of new, right? This background color, it's of type color. And when you do these input elements, it gives you the value in a hexadecimal code. And I wanted to give you the start code because we need to change that hex color into RGB, right? Red, green, and blue in order to do our calculation for brightness. Um, so this, this is not necessarily, yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to necessarily teach this to you, but parse int basically says take this string. So first of all, we're taking a substring to get the part of the hex code, right? So the first two letters are the red the next two letters are the green, and then the next, the last two letters are the amount of blue. So we're basically getting a substring, and then the 16 is the hexadecimal code, and the parse in says, oh, you're giving me a hexadecimal thing, I'm gonna convert that into an integer um, based on the hexadecimal to integer conversion. Okay, and then I just verify all of the inputs, right? I got the hex color, the text, and then the red, green, and blue just to make sure it works. Um, I don't think I started this, so let me just go live here for a second. And we'll inspect in our console here. And yeah, if I select, let's just select that and say submit when I hit preview, right? So the start code gets the value from this as a hex value. It gets the button text, submit and then it converts it into red, this color into red, green, and blue. And actually, if you click on this, you can see the 214, green, blue. So the conversion works nicely. Okay, so D6 is 214, 1F is 31, 1F is 31. Okay, so that's the start code, right? It gets the input values for you. It converts this hex color into the red, green, and blue. And you can delete this. This was just to verify that all those inputs worked. So your job will then be to calculate the brightness and then update the button to display based on the inputs and the brightness. Okay, hope that made sense. Um, yeah, I think this is kind of cool. Have fun with that.